Let's see what we can do next. And that's what the bike ride really is about. It's not about 235 miles. It's not about the money. It's about what comes next. It's very easy to start a Muslim school. It's very, very easy to plan a fundraiser and to get people together for a jama'a or a fundraising dinner or a bake sale, whatever. It's more difficult to take the next step and then the next one is to be consistent. And Muslims have to be consistent. You can't just get the idea, you have to follow through and you have to build something with it. And most people will realize that it, this, this thing that we're doing today is only part of that process. So mashallah, if, uh, if you all have come... Did you get it? Did, that looks like a, a thumbs up. If you've come together today, then inshallah, then maybe what you'll take away is something greater than any idea that I had. And, and I pray inshallah that we're able to do that. Huh? Okay, all right, inshallah. So I think what we're doing is right now I'm just talking to you to death. We're going to break and make asr. The brothers are going to try to fix the, the IT issues, and you'll be able to watch the video. And if there's anything that we can do and, uh, and take questions or, or uh, maybe hear your own ideas, inshallah, then we'll do that afterwards. Salamayim. <laughs> Uh, now, Naveed, Naveed has, a, has a gift for Brother Abdul Rashid. Naveed, would you like to give him the gift? Would you like to give the gift to Brother Abdul Rashid? In your hands. <laughs> Naveed, don't be scared. These people, they came to see you too. Uh, Naveed, it, it's all a surprise for Naveed. He did not know that this is what's going to happen to him. Um, for those of you who came late, uh, let me remind you again. Uh, Naveed uh, came up with the idea that he wanted to shake hands. He saw Brother Abdul Rashid in his dream um, after watching the video uh, of Brother Abdul Rashid uh, for, in, a, in a bike -a-thon. So, So next morning he asked um, uh, his mom that he wanted to shake hands with uh, Brother Abdul Rashid and, and we forwarded that request to Brother Abdul Rashid and Brother Abdul Rashid is here now. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask him. Uh, we'll, we'll break for Salat. Uh, salat Salat Asar, we'll make the Salat, uh, salat and then we'll uh, re reconvene um, uh, for, uh, for the panel discussion on raising future leaders, inshallah. Any questions? Yeah, I can that. Can you Thank you very much for coming today, everybody. I, I, don't think, I think there's a lot more to do today, and there's other speakers that are going to be saying maybe things more interestingly than I have. But uh, we'll stay together and we'll, we'll see what the, what the uh, evening brings, inshallah. <laughs>
Uh, I would request you to please uh, be seated. Uh, we'll be starting our uh, uh, our panel discussion in just uh, a couple of minutes.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Can I uh, request panelists to please come on uh, on the stage? Dr. Zaid Bukhari, Dr. Talat, um, Dr. Salman, Brother Ramiz Duka, Dr. Um, Dr. Salim Khan, Sister Sadia. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, let me welcome you to the panel discussion uh, on a topic that is very near and dear to our hearts, raising our children, raising future leaders, raising future generations. We live in an increasingly global world and uh, and we know that our children, they are not, um, uh, they're, they're not victims of, uh, of, the, um, of the modernity, uh, specifically the nationalism uh, that, that we, uh, the immigrants, uh, we, may, we may have uh, association with, with the home country, but these children, they, their association uh, is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that is the concept uh, of Ummah. And, and this is a huge opportunity and, and a huge responsibility that we can undertake and uh, create an environment for them that, that we could actually create Ummah, ummah Wahda um, and, uh, and also create the society that, that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had created in Medina. And that society uh, consisted of, uh, of people from all faiths. There were Jews, there were Christians, there were Muslims. And, and the society that was created, that is, that is need uh, of the day that we, that we also uh, look at it. But, but this, is, this is my personal opinion. Uh, we we uh, have uh, experts on the panel to, to discuss uh, what should be the role of a school, what should we be doing uh, to raise our children, what kind of schools we should be, uh, we should be making uh, and establishing, and what kind of uh, uh, student, student population we should be uh, creating that becomes uh, leaders in future. Um, today our five panelists, uh, uh, these panelists, every one of them uh, is an expert to a level that we could have had this uh, conversation for every single one of them. We could have invited them separately and we could have uh, uh, learn from their experiences individually, but we thought uh, that we, we were fortunate enough that Allah SWT created this opportunity for us that we could have all of them together and we could participate in a uh, collective reflective, um, in a collective reflective, uh, so that uh, so that we can uh, we can think about these things together and we can understand each other that what is our role um, and and how to uh, how to go about it. Let me introduce all the panelists uh, today. Um, the first panelist, uh, he will be giving uh, uh, his uh, keynote uh, to us. Dr. Zaid Bukhari on my right hand side. Dr. Zaid Bukhari is uh, uh, national president of uh, Islamic Circle of North America, uh, also known as ICNA or ICNA. He is also a director of American Muslim Studies programs and, and fellow at the Center of Muslim Christian Understanding at, at George Washington University in DC. Previously, he served as director of few uh, project entitled Muslims in American Public, uh, Public Square. I invite you to please go and take a time and uh, read that study. It was, it was a phenomenal study that was done at that time. Dr. Bukhari has an extensive experience of working with various Islamic organizations and also with other religious groups of USA. 
He, has, uh, he was one of the founders of National Islamic Shura Council, a representative body of Islamic, uh, of American Muslim consisting of four national Islamic organizations. Um, further to my right uh, uh, is Dr. Talat Sultan. Dr. Dr. Talat Sultan is known nationally and internationally for his contributions on Islamic educational systems, uh, system particularly in the West. He holds a PhD in education from UCLA. He taught and served as the chair of the Division of Education uh, and Psychology at uh, Barbara Scotia College in North Carolina for 14 years, and he served Umul Qara University as professor of research in Islamic education for 12 years. He has served as director of education for ISNA, served as the first president of ICNA, and president of the Association of Muslim Social Scientists. He has also served as consultant to the, uh, to the government of Brunei, Malaysia, and a visiting professor at the International Islamic University, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and International Islamic University, Islamabad in Pakistan. Dr. Sultan has written several books on the subject of Islamic education and has served as a principal of Islamic Foundation School in Villa Park, Illinois, Pleasant View School, Memphis, Tennessee, Phoenix Metro Islamic School, uh, Tampa, Arizona, uh, Washington Islamic, Unis uh, Islamic Academy in Washington, D.C., and most recently he's affiliated with Bayt al Iman Academy in, in New Jersey. Some of his books include Manual for Curriculum Guide, An Islamic Perspective, Curriculum Guide for Islamic Studies, Muslim Education and Community Development, and Islamization of Education, the Need and the Plan. Uh, he is our um, education board member at Tarbiya, and, um, and we are very happy that Allah SWT has created this opportunity that we could benefit from his knowledge and his wisdom um, uh, he, he, uh, this morning he conducted the, uh, a training session for our teachers um, and we, we continually seek his uh, guidance in, uh, in the things that we do. Um, we have um, uh, Sister Sadia, uh, Sister Sadia is sitting uh, in the audience. Uh, she, uh, she's a graduate of uh, Bryan College of Business and, uh, um, and she has uh, her her work. I mean, I, I don't need to read it from here. Uh, we have worked together. She was she was one of the founding uh, board members of the Bria School, and she brings the passion and uh, creativity to to the uh, to the organization that uh, that without her it would have been uh, it would have been difficult. So she she helped us a lot, and she has recently attended um, um, uh, a, a program a leadership seminar in in UK. Uh, she will talk about that, and she has uh, she has devised a plan, and she has come up with uh, with this uh, three-step theory that we would we would like to hear from her. So she will, inshallah, be talking to us as well. Um, next to Dr. Talat Hussain, uh, Talat Sultan is Dr. Salman Sheikh. Dr. Salman Sheikh is the executive director of Bethel Iman Academy uh, in New Jersey and holds a PhD from Columbia University in New York. He has taught and supervised curriculum development and teaching plans at several well-established Islamic schools. He has been invited to speak at national con conventions of ISNA, ICNA, and MSAs. Under his supervision, students at Bethel Iman Academy have received distinguished prizes at national and state level, including half of all first prizes in 2011 New Jersey Science Olympiad competition, half of all first position in 2011 ICNA Islamic quiz, Half of, its, uh, half of its graduating class has been admitted to prestigious academy of allied health and high-tech uh, high school. Three in ten national finalists, including first in national poetry, first and second prizes in 2011 math logic con contest, uh, con uh, con continental math league winners uh, in John Hopkins University youth talent, last three years Google Arts con contest finalists in 2011 and 2010. Um, Dr. Salman uh, Sheikh will relate his experiences uh, of challenges in building Islamic educational institutions in the U.S. He has, uh, he, he has been going through recently um, uh, in developing their part of building, uh, a nice building, they have renovated it and the, um, uh, the opening is I believe next week, next weekend, Saturday. next Saturday. Uh, uh, and and I, I, I have visited, I and um, uh, Dr. Amnal Tib, we visited the, the facility and we were very impressed with the, with the hard work that they have put in and the, the, the institution that they are creating. Uh, next to him is uh, Brother Ramiz Duka. Brother Ramiz Duka is uh, founder and board member of Miraj Islamic School in New York. 
Uh, he has been very active in, hum in humanitarian relief efforts.